Ooh, good timing. Look at this. We were watching a little bit of this earlier. And there's no war here. We got NA. And okay, nice. Yeah, okay, let's watch a little bit of this because they're they're going at it a little bit more. Yeah, we might pop in and kind of hop out here and there. Uh, I need to try and update, uh, or basically what my usual plan is, <laughs> is to just be looking at my scouts so I can kind of look at where the action is so the moment that something happens we can transition. You know, I basically have to be the uh, production crew like they do at uh, games. You know, it's like uh, doing production for an NBA game, right? Like you just always have to be constantly switching the cameras up. Oh no, why did they stop the moment that I come and look? How dare you people? Yeah, see, I wouldn't just sit on the bridge, though. This is not ideal, right? Uh, we often talk about that when we when we generally talk about kind of choke point strategy is that you have an opportunity to push out. Again, I can understand probably why they wouldn't want to push out, though, right now, especially if GG Noir just has a little bit more numbers than they do. But if that's the case, I still wouldn't, I still wouldn't sit here on the bridge uh, at, at that point. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's rough because... But maybe potentially want to try and protect the keep a little bit, but it, you're just you're in such a thin lane right now that you just again you you just you would take so much unnecessary AOE damage. So usually you want to I mean in most cases you typically want to push beyond the bridge, but if you don't have numbers yet, then just again gather numbers and then push. Uh, which I don't know why Noor GG wouldn't just push this at the moment. Uh, right, especially if they just want to aggro pull the keep, and then they can go ahead and push in. I mean, if you think about it, they'll deal more overall damage AoE for all these units on the bridge versus the amount of damage they would take from one keep, kind of picking uh, a unit off at a time. So definitely a little bit more value there. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. If sound effects are a little bit too loud, just let me know, too, as well. Uh, oh, Kevin says it's, N it's NA downtime. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense then, if that's the case. Man, going to push all day. <laughs> let me see. Uh, same graphics. Any way to lower the quality? Any way to lower the quality of the graphics? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. So we, we've already lowered it to recommended, uh, just to reduce some, and I think that helped a little bit. Again, I'd like to try and keep it at high, but you know, really that probably would work out more for just some of the small to mid scale fights. Any kind of the large, really big ones. Oh, here we go. Looks like they're pushing. Oh, get it. All right, so Noor is, uh, okay, we'll see. I mean, again, giving, in, 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 this is the thing, right? If you're going to push out here, spread yourself, right? Like, that's one of the things. Where's my, where's my thing here? Do I have my stuff? All right, so what, like, what do we often, oh, hang on, let's do it like this. Bum, bum, bum. I'm saying grab here. Psh. That, that looks good-ish, right? So, and bear in mind, they probably already have enough manpower to really do that, but the idea is, like, you want to do something like this. Oops, hang on, that's not a good color. Let's go with pink. Right, so you kind of want to go like this. Right, so that way you're hitting, ideally, from all sides at that point. Right, you don't just want to kind of like line yourself. Like so, like what Noor and GG are doing, just following this line, this isn't really the most ideal thing. Um, right, this is, and again, I always say these things respectfully, but it, it, it's very rudimentary. Uh, tactics and strategy, right? It's just very entry level at that point, where you know you're not really trying to kind of min max yourself in the fights. Uh, now, obviously, once your enemies, if they end up getting pushed back beyond the bridge, then you kind of have a decision to make, which is you're either going to kind of fight the long game along the ramp, right? So you're going to try and put units like here, 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 and you're going to try and fire across all the way. And probably mo in most cases, it's it's probably just going to be your your mages or your archers if you have the uh, increased ranged uh, season talent on, or 
what usually you would do is once you have enough people you push all the way through and then you basically just like banana peel right you either banana peel or if you find an area that you can go to that does not have a lot of turrets it's a little bit more open maybe there's not a lot of keeps right then you kind of find an area that you can operate in and then set up and then you can go ahead and kind of start you know you basically would set up your formation then you start pushing and kind of figuring out what your primary and secondary secondary objectives are at that point but yeah i mean just fighting straight up you know it, it, when they were when they were on the bridge and you're just kind of lining it back and forth i mean it, it, it's more of a brute force tactic right like that's really what you're thinking you're not saying to yourself oh wow there's you know a lot of like high level strategy that's being put in here right just because it's very simple and basic in its approach along with they just have a lot of people that are just chilling maybe they just don't maybe it's it's really maybe they just feel that way it's like dude we just don't need like this to me is like somewhat disrespectful right it's like yo we're just gonna handle you guys with like 20 units at this point uh and again i need to look at what the numbers are because i don't know i think from what i remember noir was at like 17 bill plus and na was like 14 point something so i think there was like a little bit less than a three bill dis uh, difference at least as it pertains to alliance power but dang they're just like setting up campfires right now man Yeah, but again, someone was saying it is Annie's downtime, so that makes sense too as well. I know it's a little bit earlier for me when we're um, when we're coming in and showing off compared to yesterday. I think yesterday we did it pretty late. It was two UTC, I think two to three. Is when we is when we ended up coming on. They got the spire on, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so yesterday I saw them hit the spire, and I was like, guys, don't worry, I got it. Psh, don't worry, it actually happened. <laughs> just, just the fact that they, just the fact that they let you click on it, right? Like, right? Even though it doesn't do anything, just the fact that they allow for you to click on it, like they give you that option, even though you're not in alliance, is just absolutely. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's it's a little bit lackluster, right? Like, only if it would work. <laughs> yeah, it just, it's just too funny, man. Absolutely too funny. Yeah, and then I think Neff moved, right? Because yesterday, uh, Neff was fighting. He was over there. And I think now it's Dr. Someone that I saw earlier. And he was... Uh, over there in the southwest of zone 2, right? And you saw Neff City got there. Someone said probably through like a random teleport and was able to get out in front of that gate to the southwest. And he was just sending those five marches out nonstop to delay the flag push. And then I went to go and look again today and his city was moved. And someone else, I don't think they swapped there. I think the guy actually, or whoever the player is, ended up TPing a little bit farther north. Not too far, but a little bit, maybe like 50 kilometers. And then they were basically doing the same thing at that point. See, given how much Nawar and GG has right now, I'm just, I'm shocked that they don't put more people on the keep uh, at this point. And then, because they have enough. Oh, interesting. This is Meowers Grish Skogolit, probably. But can't, don't the rallies... Huh... See, I thought the rallies were. I thought I thought the effect from the update was already hitting, where they can just pass through units. Or sorry, maybe it isn't the rallies. I might have to go back and read it. I know it's with units that can pass through each other now, where you can kind of walk through each other. Oh, so maybe it is with rallies. Look, because they're doing it now too. Look, the rally went right through the fortress. It didn't end up going around. So maybe it is them. Like I'll have to go back and read the update just to double check. But. If you don't engage it, then it sh then you should be. I guess that's the that's the idea, right? If you don't engage the unit, then you should be able to pass right through it. Yeah, that's super interesting. But it doesn't look like they're trying to focus it, even though maybe it was just taking some splash. Uh, oh, I see. They split it already. That's why. I'm, I'm looking for it. Like, where did it go? 
And yeah, I guess it did. I guess they just ended up, uh, or um, can't uh, dispersing it. Excuse me. I was saying split it. Yeah, I mean same thing. <laughs> the point. Yes. I mean, they're there. NA is still coming out though. Yeah. Oh, we can actually see what the powers are, right? So I forgot. So we click on here, NA's at almost 15 bill. And then Nawar is, where's their flag real quick? I think they're over here in blue, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go. So Nawar was at 15, there's 17.5. Okay, so 2.5 difference there. And I think red is GG. They should still be built. Oh, crud, where, where am I looking right now? They should still be building. Yeah, so they're building. TK, I think, is, is still, Oh, wow. So they actually got pushed off this? That's at 86%. Okay, so it's mainly just, like, them just going at it right now. Yo, there's our two new lovely ladies, Margaret and Zendaya. <laughs> yeah, and, and no one's going to be able to tell me different because that's, that's what their names are. It's Margaret and Zendaya. Shadowfly, Terrifying Inferno, Divine Mercy. That was a good play, again, defensively enough because they're not pushing and they're kind of established on their side. They're not really getting pushed either, so making sure you get ooh, that Blink usage, that Burst of Cheese Burst Strike, that Wolf Shadow. Another Divine Mercy getting procced. Ooh, Cheese was at negative 16, negative 8k. Damage? Nuts. That Shadow Game's getting thrown out. Just going back and forth. Just going back. Uh, you know, I'm shocked we're not seeing a little bit more flying, right? Just even if it's just flanking from the north and kind of picking them off one by one, just to add a little bit of diversity. I mean, that's kind of next level stuff that we, you know, we often talk about where you're getting to a point where you're able to have kind of small battles outside of the main battle, right? Or you're able to fight equally on multiple fronts. It just really creates another depth, another level of strategy and tactics when you're kind of fighting big or largely on the open field yeah I'm almost done on my scout and then we should be able to start queuing up or at least looking at other KVKs because I do want to go and watch some others too as well I have a nice little window today and as always man thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're enjoying the content make sure you because it helps us out a lot also helps the algorithm put our live stream out there to more human beings and you know why not let's see what we got here <laughs> okay, we gotta catch up on some chat. Let's see. So many flying creatures. Uh, and we lower. What do we got here? Amazon uh, ST one eighteen is a fight. Okay, okay. Is that still going on? I will make a note or update if they're still fighting. Let me see what I got for them. And T one eighteen. That was. But yeah, Final Zone for you guys opened five days ago, I think, and it was LTS Law versus BDPS BP LEDW. And you're saying they're still fighting? I'll make a note here. Still fighting? Let's update that. Cool. I wonder if Neff's on the field, or maybe I'm just missing. Oh, but let me show you guys the, the, the person that I was talking about real quick. Because this is... Where is it? Hang on, let me show you guys. So, against TK, Neff was actually... I think Neff was around here. Uh, and he had random TP'd over here. And he was just sending his five marches over to delay and stop TK. That's why they haven't made it all the way up here yet. Right, and so he was like around here, is where this, from what I remember. But now, if we go up, you'll see there's another city 
and it's this person, Doctor J, right? And they were, they were, they. I saw them send five marches out a little while ago, and they were kind of attacking some of the supply lines. But again, obviously not doing anything right now, unless uh, maybe they're just offline. But yeah, it was it was really interesting because we were talking about it yesterday during the live stream on how it it really factored uh, a good bit to where it's basically at this point in time a two v one, right? Uh, again, at least until they get a little bit closer, and then again, depending on how much they're really going to be able to assist on the fight and factor in. But just the fact that it happened, right? Uh, and we saw uh, the value in it uh, for what it was able to do at that time. Okay, another Gresh Gogo rally coming in. Looks like Eni's actually going to push out. Dude, I'm loving the balls right now on these guys. Oh, dang it. They just stopped right at the edge. Man, I thought they were going to go all the way out, but that did not happen. Maybe they will once the rally goes out, and they'll maybe break and split a little bit. Because, man, they need to get off of this bridge right now. Like, it is really hampering, dampering their efforts overall. Yes, what do you want to tell? My hair right here. My hair right here. Let me see. My hair right here. Let me see your ear. Ew, you got a lot of stuff on there, girl. You got that. Where's mommy? Is she sleeping? Yeah. She is okay. Then don't be loud for mommy, okay? What is it? No. Okay, stop yelling. I'll come and talk to me. Okay, tell me to come over so I can talk to her. Go. Uh, uh, be, but be quiet. Walk over. Come here. These kids they need to learn their inside voices. Or I'm going to put them in my dungeon. I mean my fungeon. So, everyone's like, that's serious, boss. It is. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Shh, come here. Okay, how about we stop hitting each other? And uh, uh, how about we stop hitting each other? We play now. I didn't do anything or okay. she no. me. If you didn't do anything, then she wouldn't be saying anything. So, what are we going to do from now on? No fighting. And what else? No hitting. What are we going to do? Nice from sisters. you. You tell me. Um, be nice. Oh, okay, what else? Um, don't fight. Okay. So what else? Um, uh, mm -hmm. How about we stop rubbing it because it's red? Do you want to go walk back? Okay. Okay. Well, don't touch it. I'll put something on a little bit. Where's mommy? Is she oh, sleeping? In the room. Okay, so what do we need to do if mommy's sleeping? Oh, you know, using our voices. inside voices, right? Okay, thank you. In a little bit, I'll tell you guys when. Okay. So the next time someone does something, what's going to happen? No. Well, yes, do that. But the next time one of you complains, you're both going to be sitting down. Let's go. I'll be right there. Go ahead. Thank you. These kids. <sighs> the bane of my existence. But in a, in a good way. In a good way. For those of you, if you have kids, you'll understand someday. And if you don't have kids yet, well, good for you. <laughs> Dude, NA is pushing out now and finally pushing NA, uh, Nora and Gigi back, at least in this instance. Not bad. I would like to see a little bit more spread here in this case. There doesn't really seem to be... Oh, wow. Can I open up two of these? That's really shocking at this point. Yes. The what? Mia wants you to poop back for us. Uh, so, so that to poop. Okay, I'll get, I'll get it in a little bit. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Or here, girls, let, let Max out in the back. Yeah, let him out in the back. Yeah, tell, yeah, tell Mia she can open the back door and let Max out. Let Max. Yes. Yes. So he can go pee pee. Yeah, go, go tell me if she can open the back door and let Max go out for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Excuse me, this is the day, this is my day, right? It's, it, it's, this is how it is. So, <laughs> you get what you get. All right. And a pushing Nora GG. Let's see, what were we trying to say earlier? We are trying to say earlier that NA is clumping and or gg is clumping as well why are we not maximizing and doing this and then also flanking why are we not trying to maximize all the areas that we can hit in 
right? This is what we're talking about, right? It's just it's it's very kind of entry level play overall when we see this. And to me, when I when I see this playing, like yeah, this is again, I'm still I always love. I'm always going to be a fan of watching as much PvP as I can. But uh, at the end of the day, always nice to be able to kind of talk about what those opportunities are for what we could eventually be seeing and where we can go with the quality of PvP beyond what may currently being presented to us. So that is something, hopefully, and again, it just, I think in the war's case, probably like in TFS's case in some cases, without saying case so much, is that uh, they can probably just power through in some ish, in some situations, right? Where maybe they don't feel the need to do that, but can it still help? Yes, it can, right? Especially if you're trying to reduce sev wounded,s if you're trying to make it so that way your overall DPS output is a lot better, and you're just taking less damage. Uh, it can. So NA and GG push, or sorry, NA uh, being able to push out, but just not spreading as much as they could be. And I think that really would have helped out as well, um, at least to a degree. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that Noir and GG have more activity than they do at this moment, but it doesn't mean that they still can't have kind of good fighting tactics, right? Put that down, please. Thank you. What is it? I need to open the back door. No, the back door. You can't, you can't open this door? This door? Yeah, this door right here. Can you go open this door? So Max can go out in the back? Mr. Chapolinus? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just open it, let him go out, and then when he's ready to come in, you open the door again. Yeah, you can go out with him, sweetie. Just put your shoes on. All right. I'm somewhat back. <laughs> All right, fam. We're at eight likes right now. This is despicable. <laughs> I want to see 20 likes in a minute. Go. Yeah. Unless you don't like me. I'm just joking. Now, now, now it's getting a little cringy. Ooh, ooh, okay. I gotta start queuing up and see what else we got because we do want to look at some more fights. So now that I have a moment, let's go and take a look. So Amazon was telling us about... Let's see. LM... Ooh, how about the LMVP22 fight that's happening in SP2-2? Let's take a look real quick at that. I want to see how that's going down. And maybe we'll go watch that if there's something there. Let me see. Oh, there's my boy Zeal. Okay, there's not really a lot. They're fighting it out in the middle of the wasteland, which is still kind of cool in its own right, but they haven't connected flags yet. So. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, wow. Is it, is it going to pop off? Okay, no. Ooh, okay, no. They're moving, but it hasn't popped off yet. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's skadoosh this over. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are killing me right now. So nothing really happening there. Are they still building? Why are they building in that direction? I'm flabbergasted at this point. 